y'all i think i have enough kills now since i just needed 72 kills i think that was enough kills so what what who hip hip hip, hip hooray <laughs> Oh my god, I'm just so excited to showcase you guys the evolved version of Hinami. If you guys did not watch my previous video on Hinami, she is a hybrid on placement, which is pretty insane. So, and she does all she also does bleeding too, which is pretty strong. And there's almost 80,000 people playing the game, which is amazing. Oh my goodness. I feel like this is even higher than the previous update as well, which is a w for anime adventures because i think a lot of people are also hyped up for the halloween skins and mostly sid because sid is literally overpowered like what the freak dude uh, hopefully he will become a full aoe once we evolve him all right let's go to my private server and get the evolution item for you guys yippee let's go yeah, comment down below what do you guys think about this update do you guys think it's very grindy what do you guys think about it because uh, okay it is so fast to get the unit evolve the unit since basically you just need to literally what get in the infinite and that's what you just gotta do which is so easy and i must i must say the infinite is probably going to be hard if you do not have any uniques at all so if you have unique they will just make your life a lot easier so i wonder on how difficult it will be for people who don't have uniques because literally i was in in a lobby where people did not have any uniques and we literally lasted up to wave 42 and i'm like bro what the freak dude but it's all right wave 42 better than nothing but it would have been nice if we lasted up to wave 50 but it, it is what it is and look at that we have enough now to evolve our hinami let's go i believe we'll be needing this yeah flower kagune so what we're gonna do is we're gonna spend money in the game um we're gonna buy this um hold on guys let me pause the video actually i have enough yeah i do I have enough i have enough Bye. Yeah, I do have enough. Pog, what the freak? Let's go. Buy that. Right now. Uh, gift. You. Pog, 60,000 candies. Now we're gonna buy flower kagune, right? Yeah. Nice. Then this did. Yo, unlucky pistol. Acquire gas crown then a bias did for Sid and buy these oh my god we open some I'll open some later on oh my god I'm so excited so oh yeah before we evolve our Hinami we're gonna do our ritual which we always do of course which is hold on guys which is Reroll her potential. So Hinami, let's see it. Ooh, B plus. That is Loki, not good. Can we give her anything? Oh, what is this? Actually, yeah, we can. Let me tra stat transfer for you guys. Uh, transfer. Hinami. Or Una. Damn, that's unlucky. All right, now let's go ahead and evolve our Nami for you guys. Oh my god, we must have a lot of rerolls too. Yeah, we do. What the freak, dude? All right, good luck to us. I'm gonna get unique on someone. But anyway, when you evolve Hinami to Hinami Yos Yotsume, she's gonna gain plus fifty percent attack and plus roots of wrath. And look at that. That is amazing. Oh my god. We got our first unit evolve and oh we got a s minus s we got ass that is literally what it says ass we got ass nice now let's see what the cosmetic look like i want that homer skin bro i swear to god i'm gonna get it e card so hinami is still hybrid all right what is her cosmetic Yo, this is her cosmetic. This is awesome. Oh, okay. I thought we were gonna lag. 
I assume that the shiny one would have the aura because this one does not have the aura which kind of looks so goofy but you know what that's fine all right now let's go ahead and go to magic town actually let's go to mountain temple no that'd be too op for her um fable kingdom you guys did not know she also does bleeding on placement which is pretty insane since bleeding and does high and she's hybrid as well that is actually pretty strong so w unit yippee hip hip hooray i cannot wait on how, what she will do now that she is evolved hopefully she'll be extremely strong imagine she's not that strong and we'll just like laughing i mean to be fair she's already hybrid on placement like that's a lot and that's bleeding too which again is a lot but uh, yippee Her cosmetic is so goofy. Food. But hey, she starts off as a cone and look at her range. It's so big, so massive. Alright, let's turn on our effects before I forget. So I would assume her shiny version would definitely have the aura because the non version the non-shiny one, it doesn't even have an aura. It looks like I'm giving someone a, like a, a freaking what? Like look look at my head, right? What am I doing? Why am I looking down? Looks goofy. Looks goofy, ah. That's fine. Now we don't even have to worry about early airs because she is literally hybrid. And the fact that she's a cone as well. W unit already. And she does bleeding too. Hello. Oh my god. Alright. Let's go ahead and upgrade her. So her stats are 9,399 damage with a 6.4 seconds SPA and 21.8 range. Next upgrade, her stats are 18,799 damage with a 6.4 seconds SPA and 22.9 range. All right. Next upgrade, her stats are 31,333 damage with a 6.4 seconds SPA and 24 range. And does she bleed? I want to double check, guys. Cause I low-key forgot and I don't want to lie to you guys. Oh my gosh, she does not bleed. I lied. Hello. Oh my god, I lied to you guys. Oh nah. Wait, did I lie to you guys? But I thought I swear I thought she bleeds. Oh nah. I lied to everybody. I low-key thought that she bleeds. It would make sense for her to bleed. But anyway, upgrade 3, her stats are 46,899 damage and she does get that new ability. Upgrade 4, his, her stats are 62,666 damage with a 6.8 seconds SPA and 26.1 range. Upgrade 5, his, her stats are 86,166 damage with a 6.8 seconds SPA and 27.2 range. At upgrade 6, She'll gain a brand new ability called Roots of Wrath. And now her AoE is huge. Oh my goodness. Right. Upgrade 6. Her stats are 109,000 damage with a 6.4 seconds SPA and 32.7 range. Honestly, it would make sense if she does bleeding, but unfortunately she does not. Upgrade 7. Her stats are 140,000 damage with a 6.4 seconds SPA and 35.9 range. Upgrade 8. Ooh, can we check on how much damage she does with Oshi buff? Ooh, with Oshi buff, fully max, her stats are 216,000 damage with a 6.4 seconds SPA and 38.1 range. She is low-key pretty strong in my opinion, like the fact that you can place 4 of her, and she is hybrid on placement, which is pretty useful. Although, the one thing that is... Like backing her from being like insanely strong is that she is not a multi hit on her last upgrade. She is a burst type. But again, her being a hybrid unit on placement is just actually insane. 
But anyway, that is the showcase of Hinami Yotsume in this update, in this Halloween update. If you guys did enjoy it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe, and I will see you guys in my next one. Goodbye, everybody. Bye bye.